Welcome back fans and friends. If I have the car in the window, usually I use this as an example because what's coming up is very similar to this car, but not exactly. It is another action of the Mattel Ultra Hot. So there we get it. The Mercury Cougar itself speeding with its nice scooper hood. We see it there right on the car and spoiler exactly as seen on there. And the 68, obviously I do like it on the side, obviously stands for the year because it is a 1968 Mercury Cougar. And this is their first of the series, the Ultra Hots. It is not, unfortunately, the one that it comes in the box set. That's the Cyclone Spoiler, a type of Mercury Cougar, but unfortunately, they don't sell it separately. So it'll be much harder to come through. So I have already brought up pretty much in the previous videos, these packages are all identical. And why that's good for the manufacturers, because the money they spend on making this decoration really nice they only really have to change one thing on the package that would be this so it could be more expensive could not be more expensive uh i don't know but it's one of those things where at least one part of it is completely standardized plus these are not cheap uh 499 comes up to about 580 so they are like on the border between the m matchbox moving parts and the collector's version plus green lights or anything else so this is another 1968 Mercury Cougar. This is the XR7 GTE. This is the highest end of that year. And uh, the one thing though I will say is that I think the hood looks slightly better on that one over there than it does on this one. I still do love this car uh, and this model from Greenlight. So we're not gonna take anything away from that. The only thing is missing is the rear view mirrors and this one's missing it too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of the package. 1968 Mercury Cougar, number one out of eight from the Ultra Hot series. I unfortunately don't have a basics Mercury Cougar from uh, Mattel. I passed one up and then here we are I'm buying this one. So the one unique thing I will say about this right off the bat is the wheel wells here, the extensions. It is completely unlike any of the other Mercury Cougars I've had. You see it's a slight rise there, but it's nothing like what we see here. It looks kind of like Camaro slash Mustang-ish. And like I've already said, the hood doesn't open, nothing like that. It's uh, basically the basic version with a few added uh, extras, which is unfortunate. You see there, hood doesn't open. Just going to go over it quickly. I do like the side-mounted uh, exhausts to the side of the car, not side-mounted. Underneath the car, side-mounted. I do like these wheels I brought up before. Uh, other than that, I guess we'll just start with this side. We have the Hot Wheels up there, number 68, and nothing else in terms of Mercury slash Ford or anything else. You can see just how reflective those wheels are. It looks really nice. Moving to the back, it has the Puma or Puma on the back there. And I'm just trying to see what it says underneath. Okay, and it is just saying uh, Cougar. So it is legible, but you need a magnifying glass. You can just see the letters there. And obviously you can see the cat. So cat, Cougar, there we go. Spoiler is one piece. I believe it's just inserted, punched into the car. It is obviously a different, slightly different material. Same material as the hood. Sorry, the hood scoop, not the hood. The hood is obviously the same material die cast as the rest of the car. There's a defroster. Uh, unlike the other one I did previously, it is actually relatively easy to see into the cab. The one thing though is that is the uh, upholstery is solid black, which makes it a little bit harder to see. It is not as easy to see into as this one. So you can just see the difference right there. Not that it matters. You can see similarities, similarities some differences. Uh, moving from the back, which we've already covered, everything nicely and painted evenly. The chrome extremely shiny. Left side is the same as the right side. There's the hot wheels. And the fire motif passing right through the entirety of the car. And then finally to the front of the car where we see the Mercury symbol. Dead center. Uh, no lights or anything else. Here should be, uh, unfortunately, here is uh, we can see where this spot is, but it is left with nothing on it where we would have this. So that is once again the exact same thing, the Cougar on the side there, and it, it obviously is not on the uh, Hot Wheels. We have there 
what is pretty much similar but not the same it's just the it's just uh the cat itself it doesn't say cougar underneath uh and extra sorry extra seven it says not cougar this one says cougar and it sh uh, shows the animal as well uh the hood is the uh, matte plastic same as the uh spoiler there obviously it's probably the same as this and when they punch the top of the car over it just shows right through I'm thinking this could be the same and it just sticks through like they it's they slot it in and then push it closed but I don't make them so I have no idea and so this is what I was bringing up with the Volkswagen SP uh, this is a re-release 2013 but on the Volkswagen SP it said nothing about that and 1968 Mercury Cougar there's no mention of model of anything else how does it stack up to the high performance version? There we have it. From green light, I know I we can see there's some huge differences between transmissions, exhaust, and everything else. But the Hot Wheels slash Mattel is extremely shiny. You can see that like that whole extremely highly reflective reflectivity. So I've pretty much covered everything. I don't see anything else I have to do. Uh, once again, this is the green light uh, GL Muscle, I think, Series 26. This is obviously... It's actually only $2.40 more than this. And I really do like this one, so I'm just going to stop talking about it now because I'm trying to get this one done. Everything else seems to be done uh, really well here. It, like I said, this is the first Mattel I have, unfortunately, non-basic version of the uh, Mercury Cougar. So there we have it for Ultra Hots, number one out of eight. 1968 Mercury Cougar as compared to the 1968 XR7 GTE. As we can see there, it rolls nice and well, as all Mattel should. So there we have it. This is Thomas from Toronto. And till the next one.